Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi! Today in my bench I'm going to do a tutorial video about how you can uh, turn your charger, your switch mode charger from working on 100 volt uh, if it was designed that way for working in a higher voltages like 220 240 volts now in United States and Japan in uh, specifically they use a 100 volt power grid other countries they may use 240 or 220 voltage power grid now if you buy something like that uh, or something like that type of charger that it's made for working on that type of voltages and you plug it into the wrong or a higher voltage you may burn your charger and that is uh, mostly what happened to all of these now a lot of comments came on the uh, rigid charter that I posted a video on and uh, how I did the repair on it and they mentioned that uh, they asked me first of all if it can be turned into working on higher voltages and what it uh, needed to be changed uh, and uh, a, a viewer commented that he only installed or replaced the capacitor the filter capacitor with a higher value and it worked just fine so today in this video and uh, I will try to answer all of these questions and I will show you uh, the difference between all of these switch mode power supplies and how you can turn any kind of charger for working on a higher voltages like 220 or 240 volt so here in this table we can see that I have newer uh, numerous type of uh, driver ICs now these are basically uh, a uh, PWM uh, control IC or the driver IC and the uh, driver transistor that drive the uh, uh, shopper transformer uh, as you can see this is has a five legs this is uh, seven legs five in here and two in here uh, this is also five legs and or five pins this is four pins five pins and then again this is uh, this is also five pins now regardless of the shape or the size of these uh, it doesn't matter the size it, what matter is the uh, voltage tolerance and the trans uh, transistor inside of them uh, that uh, can uh, either it, uh, it is designed to handle the 220 volt or or higher voltages than that or not typically all of these they can handle it without a kind of a, uh, a problem but you will have to uh, take the IC uh, number and check the data sheet for that before you make any kind of modification now as you can see also in here I have this sure charger and it uses the if I just zoom in a little bit just until you can see it better it uses the PWM IC the UC uh, 3843 and this is the the uh, the 3842 43 44 45 they are all PWMIC and they are all came from the same family but except the oscillator circuit inside of them uh, it is a little bit different so uh, with every type of ICs uh, you need to check if you replace it with a different number you have to check the capacitor that drive this oscillator circuit in order so I can uh, produce the right frequency so that the uh, 
oscillator transistor it is in here sorry this is the diode anyway uh, the, the driver transistor it can operate uh, without any kind of problems now this is as I said this is the uh, UC uh, 3843 and this is the 3042 and this is also a Shujaja a 5 amp uh, it is the SON the 1205 so yeah and this is the, uh, the typical design that they use now let me put all of these aside and zoom out a little bit and show you a block diagram about the uh, 3842 PWM IC now this is a block diagram of the the ship or P, the SMPS ship and this is the transistor and this is the chopper transformer now the component you need to check usually these or these kind of ICs they are as I said they can handle the 220 or the 240 volts but the difference is it is the resistor uh, one thing I have to mention, if you don't have to allow or uh, to uh, take in your uh, account or in your mind that every charger it is different than the other. Regardless if it was the same model, it doesn't, it, it is different. And I'm going to, uh, to tell you how it is different. In factories, uh, if it is, uh, they don't put the same kind of numbers of part uh, in every uh, charger and that is depend on the stock they have uh, from the parts for instance if there was building there were building a charger for about a uh, working on 100 volt if they run out uh, or uh, from a certain part number they can replace it with the other as long uh, in the end the charger it is working like it should be it doesn't even uh, bother them and it does they don't even care them the uh, manufacturers that they produce that uh, particular charger uh, now taking a look at the charger uh, circuit diagram that I uh, drew it on paper these things that you need to uh, pay attention when you if you want to uh, boost up the voltage of that charger so it can work on 220 or 240 volt first of all the fuse the rating of the fuse it should be uh, capable of handling 250 volts the uh, the filter resistor uh, it should have a value up to one mega ohm and that value it can handle the 220 volt uh, easily the filter capacitor or the uh, line filter capacitor it should have the rating of uh, uh, 200, uh, 250 volts and even higher uh, 400 volt it is recommended highly recommended and also after the filtering inductor, uh, the line fi filtering inductor, also the other capacitor should have this kind of rating up to uh, 400 volt from 250 to 200 volt or uh, 400 volt. The uh, bridge diode should have or the diodes they uh, convert the electricity from AC to DC. This should handle up to 1000 volts and also the filter capacitor should also uh, have the power to uh, handle at least a 400 volt power rating now also these kind, uh, kind of ICs the M uh, the S MPS ICs they use uh, in order so they can operate uh, they need power and this it is a, a typical configuration between uh, this kind of uh, uh, driver uh, IC and also 
like these I see as well now usually there is a uh, uh, 1 watt or 2 watt a about a 180 kilo ohm resistor and that is for supplying the voltage directly from the main uh, DC voltages and in order so you this uh, voltage can become stable they feed it uh, with a feedback power from the transformer so you need to check the rating of this capacitor and also the rating of this resistor and confirm that the uh, the resistor if you boost up the voltage it doesn't uh, allow a uh, higher voltage to uh, come to this pin over here and also you need to check the transistor uh, power rating and the specs of this particular transistor because usually the uh, if they if the charger it is designed for working on 100 volt uh, it should at least handle 600 volt or even higher so yeah now what happened if you uh, check all of this and you did all of this and the charger uh, you plug it into the uh, voltage and it blew up or to the higher voltage and it blew up uh, that is because the oscillator circuit it is not uh, match it the uh, the variation in the voltage and also uh, you put a uh, low kind of uh, ohm resistor in instead of a higher one so the, that allow a uh, much higher voltage to be driven or to be supplied to the pwm ic and that will happen to this uh, model uh, of ICs or to these as well so a word of warning whoever uh, trying to do all of these modifications and uh, he uh, you are doing that at your own risk these kind of sets or switch mode power supplies they are very delicate and in terms of oscillator uh, circuit and if, uh, if the oscillator circuit it is not running right and you are uh, did this kind of modification and the oscillator circuit did not uh, run right uh, it can burn up and blow up and sometimes in the severe uh, circumstances this uh, the burn can burn your entire house down the set can burn up and it can burn your house down so be careful while you're doing th that if you don't have any kind of experience in uh, measuring voltages and measuring the frequency and you don't have the right tools don't do it take it to a professional and he will service you even much and give you much more uh, uh, nicer results than uh, trying to do it with your hands so yeah that has been said i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe thank you for watching see you next time